What's up my beautiful butterflies? It's the Awakened Butterfly and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire um, video. And if you enjoy the content, don't hesitate to hit that like and subscribe button. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's taking care of themselves out there mentally, physically, and spiritually. Um, I've been working very hard, guys, behind the scenes trying to get um, great content out for you guys. And it's really feeling good because... I feel like um, the more I pray and ask God for different uh, subjects that I should touch on, it seems like so far, well, these past, um, the past week or so, things have just been flowing to me naturally, and I have been nothing but overjoyed and honored to um, research this content and get it out for you guys. So, um, <clears throat> guys, I came across another form of gang stalking, and I found it quite interesting after reading about it and doing some research and taking notes on it um it is i feel one of the most um all forms are, are dangerous don't get me wrong but i feel like this one is one of the most dangerous because um it's like the height to me my personal opinion i feel like it's the highest extent that a stalker would go um to harass someone and this form of gang stalking is called predatory gang stalking and it is um the consistence in uh of it is a consistence of orchestrated surveillance um, on the targeted individual and also a uh, consistence of harassment but instead of it being done by you know one person or maybe two people it's done by multiple parties <clears throat> And the reason um, this tactic requires multiple parties is because um, it is based on timing and synchronicity. So they have to have uh, many people in order to play out different roles at different times in, you know, in order to always have someone on the scene. Um, so yes, it is based on timing and synchronicity. And um, these encounters, they occur repeatedly throughout the target the individual's life and their you know regular days it, even, even if they notice it or not um the encounters that they have with people that they may not realize um on a daily basis are synchronized um it may not be anyone of big importance to their life because the thing about predatory gang stalking you usually don't know who these people are they're usually strangers unlike the regular forms of stalkers that um, try and get very very close to you um, they pick different gang stalkers based on their own special ab abilities, too, guys. And um, <clears throat> they it's the information that they provide and a special ability that they provide as a harassment enhancing tool is what I like to call it. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a few examples. Um, personal hackers. Um they would they love to hire personal hackers because they can get your personal email address home address personal account info etc um if you've had an ex stalker in your life you know someone who stalked you whether you were in a relationship with them or not and you maybe file charges and have an order of protection to have them away from you they will seek these people out because they feel like these people know a lot about you personally what you like and don't like in a relationship because um, you were once in a relationship with these people or, you know, or had some type of connection with them. And it was something about them that made you cut it off. So they use these people for, you know, that type of information. So they can try and find the ideal person that they feel you would be interested in and possibly try to send them in during another harassment tactic. Uh, because like I said, in this um, particular um, situation, um, form of harassment, um, they want you to know that you're being harassed in a certain way, but they don't usually walk up to you in most cases. Um... Yes, and, and when they bring this, when they try to find this perpetrator to bring into your life, it is solely to to invade your personal space and, you know, try and find anything they can to try and destroy you, ruin your reputation, discredit you, 
and you know also as a source to to keep um reporting back to the handler your every move um also they would seek out jealous and competing friends and family members because um they feel like these people would have no problem with exposing any thing about you that you know you may not want anyone to know about anything personal private that you've you know maybe experienced while you've had a relationship with these people due to jealousy they will go to any extent to um discredit you so yeah they usually seek these people out a lot um also they even go to the i feel like this is the illegal extent to seek out counselors therapists um medical health care professionals that you may go and see on a regular basis, pastors, mentors, supervisors, etc. Um, this gives them an overall insight of your life. Um, planning harassment is easier um, when they have access to your personal space, you know, and, and your well-being. Because these um, healthcare professionals and therapists, they will actually illegally release your records to these people. Um, this also helps them decide which stalker that they would um, that they would pick um, based on what they bring to the table. As far as you know, examples like some of the people that I named, and they they even go as far as to use criminals uh, based on what they're able to do illegally. Um, based on the synchronized events that are happening um, in your life, um, is why they need multiple people for different reasons and so they can have people show up at different times um remember the more they invade your world the more they can make you uh falsely imagine that something's wrong with it is what i feel um in all actuality there's nothing wrong but they're creating a whole uh scenario before your your very eyes and um I have an example. I have a great scenario that I um, that I did, and um, I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, um, let's say you are now seeing a therapist. Okay, um, and it attempts to heal for any past traumas that you may had. Um, you confided in them completely um, in hopes of being assisted by a mental health professional. Um, your therapist has been contacted um, by an elite handler, okay, and offered an odd amount of money um, to inform them. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. It just appears like it's so much outside of my window. Stop, mama. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm recording by the window. There was someone standing by my window. I was trying to see who it was. I'm sorry. If you hear someone, that's my neighbor. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you hear that, but we're going to continue. Yeah. Um, the issues that you may present with each visit, um, they will, they will um, invade your privacy and release all of your medical records to the handler for the right amount of money these people are being paid to do these things and they're also getting perks so they have no problem with giving up your information um let's say for instance you've told them your therapist that you have the feeling that you're being watched um after they've talked to the handler they may turn a whole new leaf on you from going from your other visits telling you that everything's fine to now telling you that, you know, maybe you are being watched by someone and harassed and maybe it has something to do with your past. You remember when you told me this or that. It's like they'll start using your past against you and using it as an excuse for the harassment when it has, in reality, has nothing to do with that. Um, yeah, so... Unlike gaslighting stalkers, okay, guys, um, who go out of their way to convince you that they're not gang stalking you, that there's nothing going on, the predatory gang stalker actually demands to be noticed by you. And it's not a direct contact sort of thing uh, per se. It's one of those things like um, 
when in close contact with you, they may smirk at you or give you a little smile or uh, may laugh while they're near you. You know, something like that. Um, yeah, so um, predatory gang stalkers are pretty much always strangers. And um, they rotate through synchronized events, like I said before. Uh, so there's different stalkers, but they participate in the same events, just different characters. Um, they make their presence known with no purpose at all. And this tactic used in predatory gang stalking is one of the most disbelieved. Because let's say, for instance, there's different people, but they're showing up at the same synchronized events. And you're starting to recognize the pattern. If you try and explain this to someone, they're not going to believe you because there's different people every time and the pe the events that are happening are not something out of the ordinary because it would be something that people would are known to do on a regular basis per se. Um so it's hard to it's at this point when you tell them this, it makes it's hard for them to pinpoint the stalker and their purpose. Because they ha the way they have it set up, it's hard for them to recognize. If you did try to tell someone. Um, they also target individuals whose family have no acknowledgement of gang stalking, um, law enforcement, government agencies, planning out these different, you know, um, street um, theater events or anything like that. They're not aware of any of it. So these are the ones that will call you crazy. They will probably try to get you on medication, um, admitted into a mental institution, just start going to different people, the wrong people, asking for advice for you, like there's something really wrong with you. They may even try to have a family intervention. Um, if anyone's out there going through that, stay strong, guys, and stand in your truth. Don't let anyone break you. Um, the gang stalkers that, um, I'm sorry, the handlers also hire criminals um, to harass targets. Uh, it ranges anywhere from robbers, murderers, uh, rapists, extorters, gang members, affiliates, uh, or white people who do white collar crimes. All these people are access to them because they can use them to help them carry out different things. And they're going to make sure... Um, all the evidence is cleared and these people won't have to ever worry about being arrested for it. Um, they use the criminals because they figure they need the funds due to their criminal record. They can't get a decent job and they feel that due to them needing the funds and due to them being criminals, um, they will do anything and go to any length to get the money and they you know, won't be afraid to do it. Um, but on the other hand, in predatory gang stalking, although they want you to know that they're doing this to you, um, they will act as if they're not doing anything to you. Like, let's say for instance, they give you a certain look and you know that they're stalking you. If you turn around and start to watch them, they're going to turn their head like, they're not watching you. It's it's weird. I think you guys understand. So the best thing to do is show signs that you are aware of the harassment. Let them know, like, uh, you know, I know what you're doing. But don't be, okay, so this is the thing. Confront the stalker, if you know, but only in public areas for safety reasons. You can just say something like, hey, I know what you're doing. You know, I, I would appreciate it if you stop this, you know. This is illegal and this is morally wrong. Like, I stop it. I know what you're doing. You know? Um, don't be so open to engage in random conversations with people that just walk up out of nowhere. And guys, my whole entire life, I've always been a nice, friendly person. I've never been hard to get along with. I can honestly say I have never been hard to get along with um, I'm an understanding person I give everyone a chance until they prove me wrong I used to until I realized that I was a part of this 
um, harassment um, tactics going on. I've been very careful about random people walking up to me, just, you know, trying to hold random conversations with me. I've been very careful about that. Um, just, you know, coming up out of nowhere, you just have to sometimes be careful for things like that. Especially the chosen ones. You know what I'm talking about. Um, some stalkers do it for the thrill. Um, like I said before. And uh, for the control. Just for the sole control of another uh, individual. So you become. You becoming fully aware. It's like a cover being blown to them. To some stalkers. And it's no longer fun. Um, the cover's blown on their behalf. And this makes it no longer fun for them anymore. And sometimes it may result, you know, if they're able to stop and they're not held under any type of uh, contract or anything, sometimes this may cause uh, some stalkers to just leave you alone. They're like, you know, cover's blown. It's not fun anymore. They're not paranoid looking over their shoulders, hallucinating. You know, it's not working. Um... Some are too cowardly and narcissistic to be found out. And although they can participate in something as sick as gang stalking, they're afraid of other people in the community to know that they're a part of it because they feel like it would uh, ruin their image and it would also um, ruin any chances of them, you know, coming to anyone's life as a narcissist. In the, in the community that's aware, you know, of what they're doing. Um, many fear, um, many stalkers fear that being, um, of being revealed because they don't want to draw any attention to any other criminal activities that may be taking place in their lives. You know, they may be doing other illegal things and they don't want to be found out about this because they feel like it could, you know, open doors to other things being found out about them that they're doing illegally. So, um, yeah, guys, um, predatory gang stalking is something that I've noticed a lot with personally, I've experienced a lot in my life. Um, I've seen, I've had people walk out the door the same time as me, go back inside the same time as me. When I'm outside, they'll stare, they're staring me down and you know, sometimes you can just feel the eyes on you. And then when I turn back around, they turn their head, you know, some, but you know, you know what guys, it, even though these things are true, it's always been so hard for me to grasp the concept that someone would really go out of their way to do this to someone. I just haven't grasped that concept of it yet. Like, I'm like, are the reasons even valid enough, even though I don't feel like they're valid at all. But I mean, even for their sake, are those reasons that they have for doing it even valid enough for them? I don't know. It's just, I think you guys understand, but, um, I hope this video helped someone. Um, I have many other great videos that I'm about to share with you guys. And I have a great story time coming up. And um, it is going to be based on a video that I'm about to drop very soon. And when I did the research on this next video I'm about to do, it made me think about a story time that I'm like, wow. God's really revealing so many things to me now. So our past is, I realized that our past is not something that we should dwell on, but something that we should reflect on. You know what I mean? Like not letting our past consume us, not letting it define us, not letting it hold us back from the future, but, you know, reflect on it in case it resonates with something that you're going through in the future where you can, you know, maybe find a uh, missing piece to a puzzle. God, God does those things for us, you know, we'll go, he'll have us to go through something and it would, you know, enlighten us, um, with something that we'll be going through in the present. So it's actually a beautiful thing. So don't dwell on the past guys. Don't let it define you, but reflect on it because had I not reflected on 
well, had not I done the research um, the other day, it wouldn't have made me reflect on something that's really important that I um, would love to share with you guys. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, I hope this video helps someone. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification so, button so you can know every time um, I drop a video. I love you guys so much. I, I'm starting to see you guys get active in the comment section. And it's making me very, very happy to see you guys communicating. And um, I try and, you know, communicate back with as many people as I can it means so much to me so 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 much um I love to hear what you guys have to say there's a lot of I have a uh, all of my butterflies are so smart and intelligent so whatever you say to me I'm learning too I've learned a lot from you guys so it means a lot I love you guys so much like I said before I appreciate you guys so much for all of your love and support um everybody uh be safe out there um Don't let anyone take advantage of you. I don't care how empathic you are, how big your heart is. You know, if you know you've gave your all and done your all, and they don't show any signs of appreciation, just let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time, energy, the pain, the, you know, the frustration, all of that. Just, no. You deserve better. Um, uh, until the next video, guys, peace and love.